Prepare faces. Okay. <clears throat> Who wants to go first? <laughs> Are we officially starting? Uh, yeah, we might as well. Oh, I thought we were gonna. When are we gonna start? <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> All right, greetings, everyone. Link Roger here. Uh, I am joined by Fan Savvy. Uh, we got Mega Fan and Fan Girl. And this is Hello. Fan Savvy being joined by Link Ratchet. I don't know which which channel we're gonna put this up, but we we have some words to say. Oh, well, why don't why don't we just get started by um, a lot of YouTubers such as us have received it. We are talking in regards to a new policy that YouTube has decided to do in regards to the YouTube Partnership Program. And trust me, it only gets worse. As a result of... Okay, I'm just going to read the email we got sent this morning. Yep, go ahead and read it. You don't thank Logan Paul for this. Yeah, uh, I'll pull it up right now on the screen. Here it is. <clears throat> Today, we are announcing changes to the YouTube Partnership Program. <clears throat> While our goal remains to keep the YPP open to as many channels as possible, <coughs> we recognize we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the ecosystem. Now, I read this paragraph and I immediately assumed, okay, they're finally responding to the situation with Logan Paul and they're going to be more careful with the content that's coming up. Yeah. That's what I was assuming. For those of you who are unfair, uh... If you're not familiar with what happened, uh, Logan Paul went to Japan. He was very disrespectful. Oh, they're aware. <laughs> uh, if they're not aware, I'm just letting them know. Uh, oh. if, you're, if you're unaware of what happened, uh, what happened was uh, Logan Paul disrespected a lot of people in Japan. It did not just people, but places, locations, uh, from anywhere from destructing the temple, disrupting workers uh, at the fish market, to basically showing a dead body on the suicide forest. Uh, and show, like, showing the dead body, zooming in on it, and making jokes about it, smiling and laughing, and just responding inappropriately. I, I, I've, but it's that that means no wonder other countries hate. It's no wonder other countries hate us. Uh, like that. But yeah. Let me just let me just continue. Yes, go ahead. So I, I read that paragraph and I thought that they were just going to change the policy <laughs> regarding content and being more careful so that shit like that doesn't happen again. But here's where it gets interesting. Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partnership Program at, on February 20th, 2018. Unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days accordingly, this email serves as 30 days notice that your YouTube partnership program will, terms will be terminated. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money on a thriving channel. Creators who haven't yet reached this new threshold can continue benefit from our Creator Academy, our Help Center, and all the resources on the creator side to grow their channels. Once your channel reaches the new threshold, it will be reviewed to make sure it adheres to our policies and guidelines and... Really? So, in other words, channels like ours, or mine, who are struggling to make uh, enough as it is, are getting nothing now. We're getting cut off, pretty much, because we don't make enough. We don't make a, all. The, they just suddenly decide to change the rules again, and because we're not making the same views as they they want to, they're cutting us off completely. And they're doing the oh, same thing that? to not only to the small YouTubers, but the fact. That that the, the requirement that I, in my email that I showed, that I have 30 days, I have until February 20th to get the 200, the 4,000 hours or 240,000 minutes of watch time, which is going to be near impossible. Currently, right now, oh, I have 140 minutes. Unless you want to go find a dead body and record it and act stupid and shit. Yeah, I won't resort to that. No, no well, that, that's, I, I mean, I'll get. That's what no. I want to talk about, but I'll get to that later. You guys, no, well, what you, you want. I mean, what do you expect? They, they don't care about the smaller channels. They're, we're on our own for this kind of stuff, and yeah. it's it's crap like uh, all this stuff. I'm, I'm trying to collect my thoughts here. It still amazes me that there are some videos out there that 
you make, make you wonder, why is this popular? And yet, our, channels like ours are trying to make an honest living, yep. or, or want to make an honest living off of this, but YouTube is not making it easy. He just found, he just read the email like 20 minutes ago. I was, I, I read mean, not it this a good morning. Move. I read it this morning. Not in a good mood. I not wait for the I read that email last night, and my first thoughts were like... Rage? Sadness, because um, I started my channel back in March of two, uh, 2015, and to in the same year to not only find out that I'm going to be a father, you know, to lose my father, and then I was just like, you know, I tried to make sure YouTube was going to be a thing to help me provide money so I could provide a future for my daughter. To find out that now that future is going to be taken away unless I work 20 times harder and basically bring clickbait and I don't want to resort to clickbait. Neither do we. <sighs> the... Go ahead. It just makes me think that we should have started YouTube a long time ago. Well, the, the thing about this is when I saw that they, when they said they were changing policies, I thought they were going to do more with the content so that what Logan Paul did doesn't happen again. Yeah. But the thing is... Like they post, they posted that they were gonna take action. The best thing they did was cut ties from Logan Paul. So as far as I know, he's not being monetized anymore, but his channel's still up. And he's he still getting views. He's still getting subscribers. He's still getting popular. Yeah. And yeah, it's not stopping him from his other channels like Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff. What YouTube basically did is say is the complete opposite. Like it's not about the content anymore. It's just about how many views you get. They saw that before Logan Paul took down that suicide video, it has 6,000 likes. It, it's just like, they they responded to this stupidity, but they're going about it the wrong way. Yeah. And they're punishing us. I personally have never seen this video, and I don't, I don't, want, to I don't want to see the video. Uh, I've seen people have posted screenshots of it, of like the body and everything. If they were like up close and personal with it, uh, my only my only concern is that if this is the new low to become famous, then you know, or to get recognized as a growing channel, then I have no idea what to do because I myself Make won't resort to as something as stupid as showing a dead body on camera. Well, um, I mean. <clears throat> I mean, like, I have done stu like, don't get me wrong, I've done stupid things. I mean, like, I believe Mira and I have th both done the uh, ice bucket challenge. Um, you know, I I've jumped, I've jumped off things, but I would never ever show a dead body on camera because that's scarring. Because there's kids watching. Well, it's it's not just that. That what they're doing is that they're gonna people are gonna realize this and they're gonna think, hey, if I need to keep my channel going, I have to do stupid shit like. Like what Logan did, what other people do. You know, you got us who work our asses off to make the content we make. We barely make 10 views for each, but it was still something. Like we were making like nine to 10 bucks a month yeah. through the partnership program, which was, it's table scraps compared to others, but it was still something. But then yeah. you got somebody eating a laundry pod and they're getting like a thousand views in a minute. And it's like, stupidity is being rewarded. That's the problem. It's not entirely YouTube. The problem is that people are learning that you do something crazy and people are going to get sucked into it. Well, Human it, curiosity. It, 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 example, example, bad, that, that, that girl, Bad Barbie, whatever the her name is, uh, who is also known as the Catch Me Outside girl. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, her. The, the who? Th the, the, this, 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 this attitude bitch became a meme because of our Catch Me Outside phrase and now she's world famous and being paid to be stupid yeah. and all well, what, that. Well, what do you expect? Stupidity sells. Just like sex sells. Violent sells. I mean, what, the reason why I suggested that we make a video and chat about this, I, I didn't want to just sit in front of the camera and be like, screw YouTube, screw all this. I wanted to see if maybe there was a way to lead to a solution. Yeah. I want to talk to everybody out there, whether you're in this predicament or not, and figure out like, what can we do about this? I want to unite people on this. We want to yeah. let peacefully protest and let YouTube know that this is not okay. And the thing is, is that by doing this uh, step, is that it's going to discourage um, future people who want to join YouTube, who not want to do YouTube. Uh, 
Um, but even today, even before this entire thing, there was already people who were doing Patreon to get some extra cash um, to help provide for their work, for their content, <clears throat> along with um, other people who I've seen have decided to switch off from YouTube to do Twitch because become, to become a t Twitch affiliate is simply much more easier than it is to become a YouTube partner. And now it is definitely way easier with, today, uh, with today or yesterday for its standard of we need to have $4,000. It used to be all about how many subscribers you have, how many likes, how many views, not how many people watch. They're treating it as a t TV channel station and that's how they're treating it. Well, it's hard for them to care when half the time it's just a program going through your videos and just well, figuring out what's popular and what's not. The bot, the bots, whatever bots they use, it's mostly based on detecting copyright content and uh, how many clicks, pretty much. They're not paying attention to what content is out there. Because the thing is, the only reason why this whole Logan Paul filming a dead body is only a controversy because he's a popular YouTuber. If you looked up, if you looked up YouTube and looked up dead body right now, you would be surprised how many films of people filming dead bodies are out there. Nobody bats an eye because they're not popular YouTubers. It was only until this guy with six million, seven million subscribers that's when the controversy started because he's already famous and he's already done stupid stunts. But what I do appreciate is that at least there is bigger YouTubers. Um, one, I, one, I, one of them, I. Definitely know. I saw that uh, it was Markiplier who's joining with other YouTubers to basically speak against the new guidelines that YouTube is providing. For the so he's already thinking about it. Well, yeah, it's not like it, it wasn't easy before. Yeah. Before this whole thing with that whole new monetization, where they you can't. They won't monetize you if you think they're, it's an inappropriate video. Well, the, Say one swear word and suddenly you're hit. Well, the thing is, at least you can fight against that, but... It, Still. What, what we're mostly enraged about is that we no longer even have the option of whether or not we want our videos monetized. We don't even have the monetization button anymore, is what they're saying. Yeah. Unless we reach their new guidelines. And the other reason, like, maybe I'm taking this a little too personally because my day job involves, I work at a shipping warehouse by day, and they barely pay me enough as it is for living expenses, but when I first started working there, they would have this incentive <coughs> calculation to provide bonuses for us every month, so I would prep and package stuff, and the more stuff I prep and package, the more I get on my bonus, but recently they changed the incentive, where you have to have a quota, so basically, now, instead for example, if they want me to prep 500 items in one day, but I only prep 300 instead, instead of getting my bonus for those 300, I get nothing. Pretty much. That's pretty much what YouTube is doing to us now. So this is the second time that I felt personally insulted and scammed after working so hard. And it's it's hard to... Cause we're, we're trying not to be like, oh, we jerked your stupid for the money, but we would like a little something so that we can provide more for the channel and do and, more. And it would be nice to actually have a job we can honestly say we love. Yeah. Because I think that's the dream of a lot of people for <coughs> that decide they want to do YouTube as living is. They want to be rec not only recognized by their peers, recognized by people to be like, hey, I know this person. He's re they're really cool. Or, or to even be able, like Joe said, to say, I love my job. To do YouTube <coughs> as a living. And that of mine is still a very, 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 very lucid dream that I would love to have because... We all do. The fact that I can quit, quit my current job, do YouTube for a living, travel the world, be... that would be amazing. But right I mean, now, I would... because of that standards of, of what YouTube, it's become harder, but I'm not going to give up. If I was able to do that, if, I mean, if I had the opportunity to do... Uh, do stuff on YouTube and know that I can make a living off it, I'd quit my job in an instant. I mean, I would do it either way, because <clears throat> I really enjoy making the videos mm -hmm. we do. Yeah. I mean, the only reason why I want to be able to profit at least a little off of it is like at least profit enough so that we can either hire help or yeah. put money aside in case we need to buy new equipment or something yeah. like that, because almost everything we do on our channel comes off right out, out of our, our pockets. pockets yeah. And it's not cheap either. No, it's not. Uh, 
cosplay and the DIYs and the stuff that I do where I buy equipment. And I, I just had my computer fixed. 200 bucks. <clears throat> and I had to get a brand new computer to help, help me with my recordings. And uh, that that was not... Uh, it set me back a bit. I can tell you that. Yeah, definitely. Same thing here. I had to buy a new computer. I had to buy a uh, new capture card. And... You know, and there's also the fact that every time a new game comes out, we have to put this out the money to play the game. Exactly. Play it for, for people and basically and the price, give your opinion. And the prices for games keep going up, too. Yeah. I mean, we're a little over 60 bucks now. I hear they're going to go to 70 at some day. I hope not. I will cry very, very bad. It's not, it's not just the money that I'm worried about personally. I'm more worried about... They're obviously... Now they're obviously monetizing based on views, so... And all the things that get viewed the most are idiocy. I'm just worried that, you know, people like Logan Paul, there are children there who idolize him, and they're going to keep watching him no matter what, whether it's what kind of crap he does. And what YouTube is pretty much trying to tell us is that guys like that, despite the backlash, they're still being rewarded. Yeah. yeah. We, need to, we need to let the YouTube people you know, people who... Whether you're a creator or someone who just watches YouTube videos, we need to let people know that that kind of stuff, if you want to do stuff like that, fine. If you want to watch stuff like that, fine. But it should not be so heavily rewarded like that. If this is really what it's come down to, then there's really no for honest YouTubers out there. And, it, and the people who <clears throat> idolize Logan Paul are children under the age of 12. So what they're going to say is, oh, screw college, I'm going to be a YouTuber and go break laws in other countries and get in trouble and get paid for it. Yeah, he's creating an another generation of basically idiots. I mean, I... It's not just the money, it's the message you're sending by doing this. I will say that as a parent, you know, I... If Violet gets to that age where obviously I have to <coughs> monitor what she's watching. You know, obviously I'd hope that I'd be a good enough parent to make teach her from right from wrong to make sure you see what they're doing. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> well, don't show it to her in the first place. But that's the thing though. A lot of you, I think that's the reason why kids see it. Parents say, oh, don't do that. But because... You know, they're seeing it. I, I, I don't know. It's like, I feel like if I were to show her things, it won't force the kids who have that rebellion side to come out and try to do it. It's like when you tell a kid, don't smoke cigarettes, you know, three out of five chance the kid's going to smoke a cigarette. Unfortunately, even if you do, they could always get exposed to it at school or something yeah. like that. Exactly. So I'm sort of saying that, like, it's possible that we, as we, you know, we, as a parent, uh, should say something. And, you know, obviously you got to train your kids to realize people like Logan Paul, uh, Bad uh, Barbie, you know, basically the people who are just out of out of the line. I, I do apologize for the background noise. One. Oh, boy. Hmm. Hey. Family. Hey. You know. Second. Hold on. We, sh we need to tell our YouTube audience to step up and let YouTube know that there should not... Little guys like us should not be punished for the stupidity of higher people. Absolutely. Mm, and that I is agree. The, that is the problem. Well, thing, this, should not be, this should not just be about the view count. It should be about content control because, unfortunately, human curiosity gets you. Whether it's drama, shock value, yeah. things like that. And, that, that, uh, I can pick up bring one YouTuber up indefinitely that brought like the drama issue a lot, and I remember watching his videos and finding out uh, that it was all faked, it was all staged. It you know it not only hurt me but it hurt a few other YouTubers personally. Uh, I am speaking about uh, the YouTuber uh, Jesse Ridgeway or uh, McJuggernuggets, as a lot of people know him as. Or the, the kid who screams. Okay, Fan Savvy doesn't know what I'm talking about, but uh, a lot of people who do watch it. Uh, he's one of his most infamous videos contain him going outside arguing with his father. 
his father on top of a gigantic lawnmower runs oh, over his game. We know, we know, we know, yes. Okay, so... No, what are you talking about? All right, the so... The family that stages their fights. It was completely staged, and I'm going to be 100% honest. I was on the verge, like, I couldn't, I, I stopped watching these videos for a while because they, they were giving me anxiety. I, I was just like, this is too much, like, why isn't anyone doing anything? This makes no fucking well, sense. But then to find I out, it was all fake, and even one of his best friends who ran the, I, I can't I can remember his name off the top of my head because I don't watch their channel, uh, the Angry Grandpa channel. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the grant, his son got so upset to find out that was fake and he's like what you experienced was fake but what I experienced with my father is all real so for you to do that is insulting to me so I mean, I'm saying that like there's people who again like Logan Paul who disrespect countries uh, people like Major Nuggets who make the fake things but at the same time he wanted to bring into the light like what really goes on in some people's lives who take gaming too seriously but either, my point is, is that hopefully with these new guidelines that are being set in place, maybe it'll be a new goal for us to shoot for, to work harder, because I've known people who've worked years on years on end and are probably in the same spot as us. Uh, another YouTuber uh, from around here, Doppelganger, who does all the fight uh, choreograph uh, cosmic videos in the Boston area. You know, I don't know if he knows, but you know, I will be speaking to him later on in a bit, seeing what he thinks about the whole situation. I'm not sure how effective it could be, but I was re we were recently watching a video from a channel called Anime America, and they were talking about this situation also, and what they suggested was um, finding or like suggesting YouTubers that you follow who deserve more. Yeah. And the hashtag, what was it, hashtag better YouTube 2018 or something? Something like that, yeah. yeah. But we post it down below or something. But uh, they, they said that posting that on Twitter, like putting that hashtag in and listing YouTubers you think deserve more views and more attention. Yeah. I I would suggest that too. I'm just worried that that more than half it's going to be Logan Paul. That's right. Because oh. unfortunately, he, whether we like it or not, he has a fan base. Even now. Like, <sighs> somehow, after what he did, he's more... People uh, are I'll, still I'll, I'll put it right now. I'll put it right now. So, what is it? Hashtag better YouTube. Uh, you, you have to check Anime America's channel to get the accurate one. Well, uh, better YouTube 2018. How about but that? The best thing, I feel, I really wish I could come up with a better solution, but I feel like the best thing we can do at this point is just motivate I know you, guys you guys can see that, but there it is right there. Shabam. There we go. Better Hashtag right below the video. Hashtag better YouTube 2018. But the best thing we can do is motivate people to, you know, it's, I mean, it's one thing to pull off prank videos, innocent yeah. prank videos, but it, it, not as far as disturbing the peace or things like that. We need to, we need to let YouTube know that they need to do more with the control of content. Absolutely. Because stuff, idiocy like that should not be rewarded. My You're basically letting people... Like, despite that you cut off ties with the monetization with Logan Paul, he's still he, he's still gaining views, he's still gaining subscribers, and there's more people like him out there who are getting super popular. They, like I said, uh, like you said, they should have just um, just turned off his channel completely. And if no, you, but they won't, you know, they won't do that since he's since he's popular. Even even though even though he's not getting monetized anymore, and we're not getting monetized anymore. Every click gives YouTube money. They know that this controversy with Logan Paul is giving them more money. That's why they didn't shut it down. And that's wrong. I know we all need money and stuff, but shit, guys, that's just greedy. Like they don't have enough money right now. Like, if, if, if someone from YouTube wants to post anything and say that I'm wrong, and feel free. If I'm wrong, let me know. Yeah. I would like. I would actually like to talk to a person for once I'm instead of a computer. I want to get all the facts as to why this has happened and why the rules keep changing on us. Yeah. Because I don't mind working hard to make it a, to make it far, but this is just shit. Yeah. This, honestly, this is really this really ruins motivation for people, especially for people like us. Well, it, it's it kind of makes you lose the drive. I don't know how long we're going to chat here, but if I can say, like, 
the best thing we can think of is the hashtag Fair YouTube 2018. But if anybody does have any better suggestions or lead up to a solution, leave it so in the comments can, below. <laughs> so can get YouTube in. We need to tell YouTube to get their shit together and not punish us yeah. for someone else's actions. Unless YouTube went broke all of a sudden, which I'm sure they didn't. It never will. Yeah. Then there was, there's no reason Listen, the day, the day, the day YouTube gets fucking broke from anything like this is the day that Trump admits that he's a terrible president. No, as much... I'm just saying, like, this. I think there was we, no reason for this. There, there, were, there should have been a better option to handle the, the response of this predicament. Mm. They didn't respond the right way. I thought that they were going to gain... I thought they were going to do something for more content control, but they did the exact opposite. They're like, no, we're going to focus on the view count so we can make more money. Because, yeah. Is there any hope for the little guy? There is a little, have, always yeah. hope. There There's always hope. We just have to make it bigger. Right. Like, we're, we're not going to stop making videos. We're still going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to do the best we can. Mm -hmm. We're just going to have to work harder than we've ever worked before and yeah. look for other options to sponsor ourselves and, and fund ourselves. Things like that. But hopefully... <coughs> I mean, I, I don't know if our chat is going to give anybody the awakening they need to realize what we need to do. Like, I'm not saying make, I'm not saying start a riot or make a protest or something no. like that. If, but if, 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 if it be a protest, it'd be, it would be a civil protest, hopefully. But... We just want to let anybody who watches us know what's going on and why we need to say something. As well as why, you know, we need to stick off with the little man, because again, some people who don't really work for a living and they do depend on the little bit of YouTube money they get. It helps, but the fact that all the little guys are getting cut out because we don't meet the demands of uh, cor the corporate heads at uh, YouTube, we have no idea. But um, hopefully, like I said, I'm hoping that I can hit that uh, that quota by <laughs> February 20th. I hope. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I have hope that I can try. I know you. I know you deserve it, but I don't think we won't either. Yeah. We're, we're there's still. No, there's no way we're done. I mean, we're we're just about to reach 400 subscribers, which I'm very excited about. But it's not going to be enough for the big guys, obviously. Actually, I think we did. Did we? Yeah, we did. We did get one more subscriber today, so. We're, we're almost at 400. We need to do a video for that. Yeah. One, two, three, four hundred subs on the floor. Gonna go get up, get down. <laughs> You're just making that oh. face. Oh. We're at 400 subscribers! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. <laughs> and you, you, know, uh, and you know, the thing is... Something good happened today! And, and you know, the thing is, uh, there are some of our videos that uh, do have a lot of views on them. Yeah. But the reason they do is because I put annotations on the videos on my other channel, which does get a decent amount of views, and they, and th honestly, that seems to be the only way that people are noticing us. I mean, at least, at least the most effective, I'm just saying. I, I thought it was a Zubat outfit, just... <laughs> yeah, but you mean, like, 20 subscribers after Magfest. I, I know, I'm just, I'm saying view-wise. That's all I'm saying. But, yeah, the point is, get your shit together, YouTube. Yeah. And don't punish us. Don't screw don't us over. Don't punish the peasants for the king's stupidity. Now I wouldn't say he's a king. <laughs> he's, he's treated like one. I, I don't. I don't want to say it, but he is. Hey, just children. Because children idolize him. They think he's a hero. Not all. Not all kings are good. Let's just say that. Yeah. If, if he's. If he's idolized by children as a god or anything like that, then I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> well, there, there are, like, hundreds of videos from kids. Like, they all look eight, nine years old, and they're defending his actions. But, I mean, I, I'm honestly... I'm, honestly, kids don't know any better. I, I've honestly, I've run out of things to say about this situation. I'm just hoping that whoever watches this can leave in the comment below say, and let us know, you know, what can we do about it? How can we get YouTube's attention and say, this is not okay? Please, guys, we, let's try to stand together for this and Con or unite. Content control over 
Clickbait. Yeah. <sighs> Along with sharing this video on all social media, I'm talking Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I, I don't believe in it, but Tumblr. Uh, uh, I don't believe in uh, Tumblr. Sorry. Uh, whatever, <coughs> whatever social media uh, devices you guys can go through, put it on there. Spread the word. Do your own share, videos. Share the hashtag better YouTube 2018. Help us fight so we can be able to continue to create better content for everyone that's watching our channels and We're help the little man out. We're not just talking about our channels. Like, there are thousands of people like us who are dealing with this right now. People who deserve more. So if you have a YouTuber that you follow that you feel deserves better, you put that hashtag on and put their channel up on social media you use. Help them get more attention, help them get more support. Go to their Patreon, like even a dollar a month is in, can be appreciated. Yep. Love you guys and we appreciate all of you. Yeah, you guys, you guys really help us get through this. We love you. So, all 400 of you. Yeah. Yeah, so if if you're with us, we can try to make a difference. Together we can do it. I'm sure we can. Or at least do something. So. And Gratchet? You alright? You want to say anything else? My last final words? Wubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> And that's the way the news. <laughs> Try to the butter toast. <laughs> it doesn't help that I was looking at my Rick and Morty DVD and I'm wearing a Rick and Morty shirt. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my coworker has that. I never. I just noticed that. Oh man. Whoops. So thank you all. That. Thank you all for watching this video. Please share it. Please spread the word. Help us fight. Uh, a shout out to both Mega Fan and Fan Fan Girl from Fan Savvy. Please check out the channel if you haven't got a chance to yet. They're great check out YouTubers. We we'll put the links on up here, down here, which are hands on my face. <laughs> all right, Jesus, brother and sister, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Great job, everybody.